Four hundred armed noblemen, Honoré? If it weren't for General Enough. Lafayette... Enough! The room is fogged with your bluster! All hot air and no action! Here's a man with good news, I think. Arno, what did you learn from the silversmith? Poison. They're catching up. Germain made that pin, and others like it, for a man named Lafreniere. Sure. Certain. And Master de la Serre spoke highly of his loyalty. Very well. I suppose the course is clear, Arno. Find Monsieur Lafreniere. I have done so already, Monsieur. He is no threat. What are you saying, Pispard? I had a lead on Lafreniere. I followed it, and I killed him. What the hell were you thinking? How dare you defy the The next time you struck in the council, I'll give you a new arsehole. While this council admires your zeal, it is not your place to choose your own targets. You should have reported your findings to us. Forgive me, mentor. I believed I had found the man who ordered Monsieur de la Serre's murder. When I discovered further evidence that suggested he was about to strike at the Brotherhood in force, I took action. Believed? Suggested? I am no longer certain of Lafreniere's motivations. In his memories, I saw him writing the letter that would have warned Monsieur de la Serre of his betrayal. When he spoke of his impending attack, he mentioned a club in the Marais, not one of our safe houses. What do you make of this? I cannot say. I would like to investigate further. I don't like this. The boy is a gifted assassin, but I fear he's obsessed with a private vendetta. Let another follow this lead. We don't have time. Whatever Lafreniere was planning, it happens tonight. He did ask permission this time, Guillaume. Ah. Uh. Go then, see what you can learn. But no more rash action. Hm? Yes, mentor. This is the place. What was Lafreniere so interested in? Get him upstairs, quickly. Latouche, old friend. You do get about, don't you?
business to tend to. Just a little bit longer. The Grand Master wants the politicals thinned out before we begin. I trust we'll finally learn the meaning behind our recent activities. All will be made clear. I don't like it. The plan is still too vulnerable. 
And let's not forget, Lafreniere is still out there somewhere, waiting to burn us all at the stake. Tom, you haven't heard yet, then? But what? Well, Lafreniere is dead. Hours ago, in fact. Assassins. That seems more convenient. That's the thing, the assassins. Point them at a Templar conspiracy. They ask no questions. All right for the kill. Predictable that way. <laughs> Come, the fiction captain gets started. For example, when Frisa says to Alphonse, "Sinetre, what could you do? You seem like a great good. You're the one who's 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 the one Marie va encore me harceler de questions. Here's the thing. I can go on like this all day. But you, you got an hour left in you? Two at the most. Half if I bring out the sharp bits. So why not skip the end game and go directly to mate? Tell me where it is on all this. You're a smart man. Roy, clean up your mess, it's time. Be right there. Ah! You heard the weasel, boys? Not one of the rankest files. What's your story then? Did you really throw him out the window? Trash belongs in the gutter. Sloppy. Someone might have seen. Who? My boys are watching the whole place. They'll deal with any good Samaritans. Thank you, Becky. The Grand Marshal if the whole plan comes unraveled because I want to get the key on. Done! That's nice. Got it! Patience, my friend. If Paris must suffer a while longer so the world might be remade, then so be it. Why not just kill him and be done with it? One of my boys, a knife, a dark hallway. Easy peasy. We want a condemned man, Captain, not a martyr. Have patience. Respectfully, Grand Master, patience is well and fine. But the longer we wait, the greater the chance of discovery. Well, the assassins already found Siver and the Wadetun. Oh, Siver and Loire already serve their purpose. Their destruction, while inconvenient, is no obstacle. And the assassins have already proved useful when properly led. What about the Della Sir brat? She could be dangerous if she manages to rally the old guard. That situation will be resolved. How so? Mademoiselle de la Sire will soon be on her way to l'Hôtel Voisin, eager to speak with Monsieur Lafreniere. Sadly, Monsieur Lafreniere has nothing left to say. Please. Clever, Grandmaster. But you've had your brush with the assassins as well. Respectfully, you won't always be so lucky. Uh. 
Was it? Hotel Voisin? Merde. What's going on? Where is Monsieur Lafreniere? He's dead. What? No, I'll explain later. I'll climb up and take a look. Where to? They can't have gotten far. Don't let them get away. Fire <laughs> revenue. <laughs> Them up ahead. You take that one. I'll handle his friend. Have you seen a young woman? Too many of them have passed. We'll have to work together. What are you afraid of? Them out. I've only ever killed a few under a penalty. I think that was all of them. Keep it clear. There's a bigger group coming up, big group coming up there. Did you see a young woman come through here? No. Wait! I see them. Perhaps you can get a better angle from the base.
like the last of them. Let's get out of here. They can't have gone far. Find them! Go on. I'll distract them. Trust me. Meet me tomorrow at Café Théâtre. I'll explain everything. You're mad. I'll be there. I may be a little late. A man was crushed to death by a carriage yesterday, and his family is seeking any information about the driver. So? So? Seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. No closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who, who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the raw fare. Offer may be a bit strong. Is that bloody Templar? What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? done this time, Pisspot. The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? How are you, Honor? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help.
Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kimar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasser's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasser. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse! This is a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lasser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. After all this time. Luck can't last forever. François Germain believed La Première was... François Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on Rue Saint-Antoine, his wife. What the... Elise? How are you, friend? What are you doing? Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. Please. Don't tell me. It's a trap. It's a trap. This is my patriotic duty! Ah. Well, well. Look who he is. Ah. Killed her! <laughs> <laughs> That was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. 
So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau as soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down. Do you see that? The windows across the street. Watch out! work out there. You found him. Francois Thomas Germain, Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arnaud. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. Je suis à jamais redevable. 